Okay, so we're ready to carry on with the old tabby cat. Um, last time I got in the whites and I did some of the blacks as well. Um, I don't think you can kind of see the whites down Let me just put something behind it so you can get an idea of. So there's where my whites are going and there's several areas of white. So you can kind of see got all of those in and then I just started to do some of the black area around the eyes and put these two eyes in and this bit of mouth in. Um, so now we're going to have an attempt at these rather tricky eyes um, and they are tricky but thing is is if you are struggling with them just don't do quite so many of the the areas that you know fill make them a bigger area in one colour. Don't panic about it. Um, just reduce, you know, you could literally, you could have that whole area all into one colour if you wanted to. Um, so, you know, just do what you can. So I'm going to start with this piece here and I've already drawn around it. I've got a big selection of greens because I, I don't quite know what or where I'm going to go with it. So I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of them. I'm just going to let the dog in. <laughs> Save us listening to barking. So well, I think I'm going to start. Um, shall I start with that? And go for I. Let's go with that. So as usual, I just draw around it, plonk it on the top and cut out. If you struggle to hold on to it and cut it out, then do it on the reverse side and stick it onto the fabric and then cut it out. There you go simple and it's going to go under the black obviously and I'm going to pull that up stick this back down back on just gonna just slightly trim my black piece because I don't think you can see but it's just got a few little frays on it the more you handle the fabric especially the, when you're getting tiny pieces the more likely it is to fray so you can't sound kind you do need to just trim it about a bit so I'm just lifting it slightly to see where this has got to go so it's just like, oops. Let's get a line at the top. Right, yeah. So it's going to go there. And I'm just going to lift the whole thing up. Just um, take off that little, can you see, it's just a little bit proud, the black there, so I'm just going to round it off to get a really nice finish on it. Take that little stray bit off of there, try and keep it as sharp as possible. And then stick it back down again. I'm going to do this side as well in the same colour. It's obviously a different shape. But before I lose the piece of fabric that I used, so I'm 
make sure I want those two colours to correspond to each other. The rest doesn't, I don't think matters quite so much, but I do think that that central piece Yeah, just work out which way around it goes. <laughs> That's going to go in there, so I need to take this off. Perfect fit in there. Just stick it down to make it easier for myself. And I'm just going to carefully peel back and see where that runs. right at the top of that and it does just run straight down I think yep so. there we go already you can kind of see what difference that makes so next colour on to the next big piece and I'm going to use that but not the not the dark diamond bits but the bits in between if we can yeah there we go in there I want to go under that piece so and just carefully pull that back without unsticking it. That's where slightly long nails come in handy. And it's also this bit over here. So
anything else about it. Okay. Again, just going to tuck it under. Long there. Actually, what I can do is I can just pull it back a bit. There we go, that's better. this side with the same colour and it's going to be this whole bit. I'm just going straight over those other lines because I'll just put them on the top. If you notice I create a lot of my patterns with quite straight lines just to actually make it a little bit easier on the old cutting outside. And I'm I kind of quite like that clean, slightly minimal look about it. I'm not a curvy drawer. Should have been born in the Art Deco period, really. Okay, so again, just going to lift this up to slot that in. And I'm going to put these going to do these two lines that come across here next so I don't forget about them. So let me just pull that up so that I can draw around it. something nice and pale. That should work very well.
it's a bit thicker than on the actual drawing, but that's fine. Just adapt. The hardest bit is getting this backing off when you're using small bits because they have a tendency to fall apart. And it goes in there. And like with some of these whiskers and things, I'm kind of thinking I might not even put them in and all I'll do is I will sew them in because some of them are looking pretty wicked and the trouble is when they are a little bit thin like that um, they're difficult to sew they tend to um, disintegrate as you're sewing them so I think it'd probably be easier just to sew some straight lines into the piece at the end rather than trying to put them all on but we'll see how we go along I might put, I'll probably put some of the bigger ones on and leave some of the slightly smaller ones on. And even if I put the bigger ones on and they disintegrate, at least I can, at least I've got a line to, to guide me as well. Right. So it's looking like a slightly demented cat now. <laughs> That's a pretty evil looking cat, isn't it? <laughs> Hopefully as we build it up, it will start to mellow. <laughs> Otherwise I should have um, should have made it into a Cheshire cat, I think, with a big smile on its face. Okay. This bit is pretty much going under everything, so I've got to cut out roughly but make sure that bottom edge where it's hasn't got to go under anything at the moment is okay. Do something slightly darker. Yeah, that's better.
pour it forward, there's that. Slot that in. So we'll go back to this. That's quite a fine sliver that runs through there. So I'm going to do this bigger piece and then I can just slot another piece behind there. And then I can just fill that slither in from behind. And that eye is pretty much done. I just got to do this bit around here and then build it out from that. But as you can see, it's actually it wasn't too difficult, it wasn't too bad at all. The cat doesn't look quite so evil now. <laughs> um, and I shall carry on from here building it out, getting some of the old fur on, finishing this eye off over here. Um, maybe I'll do that in time lapse so you, you can see that come together as well um, after this. All right then, bye.
So that's my eyes all finished. Um, didn't take masses of time. I'm surprised actually how kind of well they've gone together. Um, I think they've got a pretty good look to them, pretty pleased with them. Um, so next I'm just basically filling everything else in, which shouldn't be too difficult a job. I think that's definitely the, the hardest parts are completely done now. Um, so it's just a matter of drawing around, cutting out, sticking on. Um, I'll probably do a, a time lapse video of me getting that done. Still haven't quite worked out what I'm going to do with my whiskers, but that's it for now. So that's my eyes all finished. Um, didn't take masses of time. I'm surprised actually how kind of well they've gone together. Um, I think they've got a pretty good look to them, pretty pleased with them. Um, so next I'm just basically filling everything else in, which shouldn't be too difficult a job. I think that's definitely the, the hardest parts are completely done now. Um, so it's just a matter of drawing around, cutting out, sticking on. Um, I'll probably do a, a time lapse video of me getting that done. Still haven't quite worked out what I'm going to do with my whiskers, but that's it for now.